We're going to work on my uh, tilt deck trailer today. What I'm having kind of issues with with being a tilt deck, which is super handy, but sometimes they're also not as handy as just having ramps. So with the winch up here, if I need to winch something on, feel like as the cable comes across the deck it's going to pull the deck down so if i'm winch cable strung across here to whatever vehicle i'm going to be pulling down here which is going to lift down there and i won't be able to get a dead car on so what i'm going to do is add right here i'm going to Cut a pocket, put a piece of tubing down there, weld it in, have another piece of tubing that fits inside that tubing up here to a plate with a roller so that I can hold my winch cable up and then down to where the vehicle's at and not pull down here, I'll pull down here. So that's what we're going to try to do. There's a brace that goes right through here. That's where all, and there's another uh, brace that runs this way. So that's where I'll weld that tube down in there. So this is an uh, inch and a half, or I'm sorry, two and a half OD. It's like two and a quarter ID. And then I've got, uh, this is probably two inch OD. Yeah, two inch OD. So it'll be a loose fit, which is fine. Um, I buy this, I go to a place called Metal Supermarket. Uh, they're, I think they're kind of all over the place, but these are their, their drops, their cutoffs. Get this in the drop zone. I got all this stuff, the plate and the bar for and these two pieces for like 30 bucks. So uh, you kind of, you're kind of, you're gonna get what they have, you know, unless you want them to cut some pieces for you, but this is a cheap way to go about it. You just kind of have to hope they've got what you need in stock. So, I'm gonna center this. Um, there's a small, all these deck boards are about seven and a half, seven and a quarter. And I've got this little small one in the middle, it's about five. Kind of a finish off piece so I can, I'll be able to just center it in that one. That should have me pretty close to center of the trailer, I would think. So it's about 40 and a quarter. 40 and a quarter. Tell him just throw this thing away. I don't need it. Get rid of that. Now mark the, the deck's got frost all over it, so hopefully I don't bust my ass.
You know, I bought one of these Yes Welders. I did a, a video on it, but I've not posted it. Um, I really like this thing. This thing was like, it wasn't even $300. And I mean, it'll do MIG, it'll do lift TIG, it'll do stick. Comes with a stinger right there. Uh, the, the controls are a little weird. You get to get the hang of those, but it just, it welds really well. It, it welds smooth. I really like it. It's, it's small it's compact it's light but i tell you if you get one of these the best thing you can do is put a filter on your fan look at that they suck the air in so you just suck all that dirt in your machine so get you some kind of filter material a couple of magnets that's probably about the best thing you can do for this little thing okay so there's the receiver part and this will be the upright. It'll fit right in there. Like I said, it doesn't need to be. That's fine. That's not going to hurt anything. No more than what this is going to be doing. No more than will it probably ever get used. Drop it right in there. Because this will get full of crap. It'll get dirt and rocks and crap in it. So. Alright. Now we'll make our top piece. Okay, I bought this another piece of that metal from the metal supermarket place. Um, I think it's 15 inches, just whatever it was laying there, a little short of 15 inches. So I'm going to bend a couple wings up on either side, and then this will be through those wings. This will be a roller for the cable to roll over. So I'm going to go three inches. Three inches. Then I'm just going to cut. I don't know if I want to cut these off and then weld them back on or cut them, bend them, and then I still have to weld them anyway. Because as you cut most of the way through, you can just bend it. I don't have a brake that will bend quarter inch. Um, I guess it's half a dozen, one sixth the other, or that goes, so I'll just cut it.
So that's one way you can do it. And finish making it a 90 and then weld the back. That's what we'll do on this one. Four. 
crud, it'd be better to be tighter, but that's really going to bug me. And once it's got the cable over, you know, it's not going to, while I'm around, it's not going to ride here. I just, I don't like how that's loose. about when it's in there it's like this the cable's gonna run over here. It needs to set a level it should have probably been able to pin it but I don't plan on using this very often so I'm gonna quit worrying about it. And all that done. So we still gotta get a winch. I'll get a I gotta get um do a winch on like a hitch receiver so I gotta get a piece of hitch receiver too to put up there. Uh, and then some kind of cables or something to plug it into whatever I'm pulling. Probably long jumper cables, I guess, probably make the most sense for that way you can pull behind any truck and run cables up to the battery so that you have a winch to pull stuff on. And then I got to do brakes on the trailer. There's only one that works, they're all just shot, so I need to put any brakes on it. We'll go from there. Thanks for watching. All right, working on proof of concept here.